Dislike the thought of your address, phone number, and your family's information being sold online? Imagine having your own private detective who scours the internet for data brokers selling your personal info. When they find it in the wrong hands, they help you take it back. McAfee Plus is just like that, a private detective helping you take control of your data and privacy. Get all-in-one protection with McAfee Plus and learn how to protect your everything at mcafee.com slash podcast. Pulling up to Mickey D's just for drinks? Oh yeah, that's me. Nothing extra, just perfection and a straw. Coming in hot for the coldest cups on the block. Because there are drinks. Then there are drinks from McDonald's. Mix things up with any size lemonade or sweet tea for $1.49. Perfect with our classic fries. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Walmart Plus members save on meeting up with friends. Save on having them over for dinner with free delivery with no hidden fees or markups. That's groceries plus napkins plus that vegetable chopper to make things a bit easier. Plus, members save on gas to go meet them in their neck of the woods. Plus, when you're ready for the ultimate sign of friendship, start a show together with your included Paramount Plus subscription. Walmart Plus members save on this plus so much more. Start a 30-day free trial at walmartplus.com. Paramount Plus, a central plan only. Separate registration required. See Walmart Plus terms and conditions. My, oh my, hockey heads, the time in the NHL is a wild one, and there's no shortage of NHL news to get to on the Monday episode of the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. Elias Patterson getting the bag. The Calgary Flames are cooking, and you know we got all the top waiver wire targets of the week covered on today's show. Let's tap in, and let's get this paper. Your Locked On Fantasy Hockey, your daily podcast on fantasy hockey. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. If you've been living under a rock, you best check yourself because the NHL is absolutely buzzing and that's why you're tapped in to your daily source. It's the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. Shout out to the everydayers and shout out to everyone holding us down, making us your first listen every single day. I'm joined today, as always, by my esteemed co-host, Mr. Steel Roden. And on this side of the microphone, it's your boy, Big Flip Livingstone. Today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel. Make every moment more. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 bet. That's $150 if your bet wins. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on to get started. Whoo, Steel, I am ready to go on today's episode because, look, This is an exciting time in the NHL. There is no denying it. But there is legitimate news impacting fantasy squads seemingly every single day. And we're not even just talking about the results. Off ice is buzzing. That's why we're talking about the over the weekend. What's going on right now? Flames win again. Calgary wins again. Nashville wins again. Panthers are cooking. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about Elias Pettersson. We're going to talk about that goal from Nazem Kadri very quickly, Steel. Oh, and I so want to mention Noah Hannafin as well, because now he's naming teams. It looks like it's the Lightning and the Panthers in the running for Hannafin oh, the most. <laughs> we'll talk about that as well. And we are not even at waiver wire or bets, which you know we have for you as well, Steel. I'm liking the microphone better in the middle. It's already a switch up. Here we go. Over to you, though, because, look, Elias Pettersson, that was maybe the biggest quote-unquote news in terms of off ice, aside from Noah Hannafin. Take it to wherever you want. But I'm thinking there is quite a bit for us to talk about, and that's not even before we get to our favorite (laughs) waiver wire ads of the week. Yeah, there is a lot to digest here, and I've got a lot to say about the Elias Pettersson contract. i got a lot to say about the Vancouver Canucks as a whole. But, I mean, man, oh, man, this guy deserves the contract after the last two seasons. In this current season, he's put on eight-year, $92.8 million contract, Mm -hmm. 11.6 AAV. He will become the fifth highest paid player in the 2024-25 season. That is absolutely incredible. He much deserves it. 75 points in 62 games. He's on pace for 99. Hopefully he can get over the triple digit mark once again. Mm. Uh, Something that surprised me though. I'm very surprised that he only has 163 shots on net. Would like to see that number at least to 200 at this point in the season. Mm. But I love the shooting percentage. 17.8 shooting percentage, 50 blocks. He's bringing the physicality, 95 hits. 
just like I said two years ago when we started this podcast. It would take him at least two or three years to fully establish himself as a I was wondering if you were going to remember league. this. I was going to, I, oh, I've got it locked up right here, baby. Don't you worry. But, I, you know, I said a few years ago that it would take him at least two or three years to establish himself yes, you did. as a true star in this league. Uh, and, and now he's in that upper tier of stardom. So, yep. I mean, this guy deserves the way he plays, the way he leads this team at such a young age as well. Him and Quinn sure. Hughes uh, are, are just great for this roster. I love the additions they made in the offseason. I love the guys they've acquired mm -hmm. so far in the season. Two more things that I want to say before I throw it over to you. This contract makes JT Millers look like one of the best in the NHL. He's getting paid $8 million a year. He's putting up higher stats than, <laughs> than Elias Pettersson. And he's, he's, he's got to have one of the best contracts. In the you got to squeeze but in the JT Miller gotta, angle any way you can. Eh? I got to squeeze like it in there. Him and, him and Zach Hyman might have the best contracts right now because mm -hmm. they are producing at an elite level and for $8 million. Sure. And he's doing, uh, you know, again, as of this season, better than Pedersen. I, I got to throw that in there. Two more things before I throw it back over to you. Do it. The next two top priorities for the Vancouver Canucks and, and Patrick mm. Alvin and where they're going for this yep. offseason, top two priorities are re-signing Philip Ronek and Elias Lindholm, will be mm. who will be unrestricted uh, free agents at the end of the season. So those are the next two top priorities for them, and I hope they can get a deal done. What's interesting is this Vancouver club is actually struggling right now and probably playing the worst, not probably, playing its worst hockey of the yes. season. So I think there's actually something to be said about, yeah, of course, this is completely off ice and it's an impact for the future. It's good for Canucks fans, the franchise, blah, blah, blah. It's really good to get this out of the way now. You know, there's a good article up on TSN right now, and it's the title is Pedersen Deal Gives Canucks Clarity. Shout yeah. out to whoever wrote that because that's exactly what this does ahead of the deadline. If this was looming even up until March 7th, this might look a lot different for this Vancouver club who might need to address some more issues with all this losing that's going on. However, Elias Pettersson has also, in his career steal, 31 game-winning goals in 387 games. He's been clutch and gone about it very quietly this year. Nine game-winning goals, which leads the NHL. So that's something that I know, you know, a game winner can definitely not exactly always be as clear cut as we're talking about right now. It's a statistic that I look at. And right now, this kid is proving it 75 points in 62 games. And how about in his career? 398 points in 387 games. So he's earned it. That's a fact. Vancouver now, I think they're going to be even more active. This is another feather in the cap of Rutherford and Alvin. These are two guys in the front office who have been getting it done over the last 12 to 16 months. So kudos to them. Philip Ronick is another one of those absolute gem moves. However, speaking of moves, Noah Hannafin is one of those names that we've talked about at length. We've also talked about how good he's been playing. We'll talk about the Flames right after the break. We'll talk a little bit about our waiver wire targets and bets over the rest of the show. But I just want to cover this angle with Hannafin first. Because if he does go to the Tampa Bay Lightning, number one, that's a game changer for them. A team that has struggled in its own end to, like, look, we've talked all about the Lightning as well. Hannafin goes there, that's huge. And he wants to go to a place where he can stay long-term. And the other two spots deal, this is bad news for Leafs fans because he wants to go to Florida. <laughs> Panthers, too, is what it's sounding like. And this is from Elliot Friedman. Check the sources. This isn't me going crazy. And then, of course, the Boston Bruins, which... If I had to pick Steel just because it'll annoy me the most, it'll be the Boston Bruins who end up getting him. But I could <laughs> see all three of those teams. But this is big news because also I'll say this. If he is already this valuable now, and I know the Calgary Flames have been playing a lot better of late and that's helped. He goes to any one of those three teams. His defensive numbers already improve. And that means I think his offense will go up as well fantasy wise. Yeah, I think it does as well. And, you know, we talked about this a week or two ago when we had one of those episodes about which team should be active. And I alluded yeah. to the Tampa Bay Lightning making a move for Noah Hannafin because of the injury to Mikhail Sergachev. So yeah. that is definitely, uh, you know, a plausible option for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Mm -hmm. That would be a huge help for in, uh, in front of Vasilevsky as they've struggled over the last, you know, stretches of, you know, last month maybe honestly, that, you know, they kind of hold on to that wild card spot. But, yep. you know, we'll touch a little bit more on Noah Hannafin, the Calgary Flames, you know, the, the the future for some of their players along with the Maple Leafs. Before we get over to break, though, I did just want to mention this. 
Jonathan Quick did sign a one-year deal yeah. with the New York Rangers for $1.275 million. 13-5-2 record, 916 save percentage. I actually would have liked to see a two-year deal mm. uh, for Jonathan Quick with the New York Rangers going up until he's 40 years old. And I, I think he signed this because he knows the Rangers are a cup threat. They, they're very close to it. He can win one this year and potentially one next year. He's been solid. He's definitely been a fantasy week-to-week -week option. Now with Shesterkin cooking again, obviously a bit of a different situation. But I like when you bring up these little news tidbits. It's key. We'll just mention Noah Hannafin, 35 points in 60 games this year, a career-high 11 goals, 120 shots on net, 22 pims. I actually really like this guy's game last year, yeah. 129 block shots as well. This year the hits are down a little bit, only 46, but – he is actually quite a solid fantasy defenseman who's having a good year. So we talk about it. Let's talk about Nazem Kadri. How well the Flames are playing right after the break. Let's touch on the Toronto Maple Leafs deal because it makes me feel good. That was a big game. And more importantly, the NHL is buzzing. And if you don't like hockey, you might as well have checked out the Rangers and Leafs on Saturday because that will get you fired up. We'll talk about it. Bets, waiver wire. Whoo, baby, we're cooking on today's episode. Thank you so much for joining us. Shout out to FanDuel. Today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. Get buckets with your first bet on FanDuel, America's number one sportsbook. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 bet. That's $150 if your bet wins. Bet on all your favorite NBA players and teams with quick bets, live, same-game parlays, exclusive props, and more. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on and shoot your shot. FanDuel, official sportsbook partner of the NBA. Have you ever seen an NHL player get off a team bus and think to yourself, gosh, I wish I could dress that nice? Well, with Indochino, you can. Indochino makes fully customized suits that don't require a trip to the tailor to get that perfect fit. Recently, I was shopping for a new dress shirt for my upcoming wedding, and when I decided to go with the Hyde Herringbone shirt, I was blown away at all the customization options I had. I could change the type of collar, cuffs, and even decide whether or not I wanted a chest pocket, all while being incredibly affordable, especially given the quality of the product I was getting. New colors, fabrics, and outerwear styles are added regularly too, so it's easy to create your next look. Level up your game with Indochino. Go to Indochino.com and use code NHL to get 10% off any purchase of $399 or more. That's 10% off at INDOCHINO.com with code NHL. And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Make sure you go over to Locked On Sports Today's YouTube channel, the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel. Subscribe to them. You can also find it on Amazon Fire TV. They are here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with local experts of Locked On, plus the national shows covering every single league. So make sure you go over there, subscribe to the channel, and also check it out on Amazon Fire TV. Mm. Continuing the conversation of today's episode, Calgary mm. Flames, Toronto Maple yeah. Leafs, they're catching fire right now. We will yep. get to waiver wire targets. We'll get to big time bets, but we got to talk about these Canadian clubs who are making a big impact, you know, in the second half of the season. I also want to give kudos to the National Predators, who are the hottest yes, team in the NHL. let's talk about them, too. With eight straight victories. And today's episode is going to be a bit longer, my friends. I hope yes, it will. you know we always try and keep it to 30 minutes. We know you're busy out there. We're trying to keep this show always tight, action-packed, and all of the fantasy and hockey news you need. And we wrap it up with bets every single day, Monday through Friday. Shout out to all of you holding us down. I got to get that off the top steal. The Calgary Flames are playing very good hockey. And I just want to leave it at this to cover that. Shout out to Nashville. They're doing great things. I don't know what this means for the UC Soros situation. This is now getting tricky for can't the front office. Him. They can't trade him, right? They you can't like, trade you're him playing, now. Nope. They're playing too good. And if you're a wild card team, we know what can happen in the playoffs. Look at Florida last year. <laughs> you get in, anything can happen. So shout out to the Preds. Speaking of the Panthers, shout out to them as well. Another big win. They're cooking. But let's focus on the Flames for a second here. Number one. You put a tweet out for us last night, or sorry, on Saturday night. That is a goal of the year candidate for sure. Yes, it is. I love Nazem Kadri. He's picked it up in a very big way. And look, I think Naz is one of those guys coming from the Toronto, Ontario market. 
he reads into his headlines a little bit. And he was hearing no, that noise. This is my take. He was hearing the noise about him being paid too much. He's looking at Jonathan Huberto and going, uh-uh, I'm not Jonathan <laughs> Huberto. And he's turned it around, Steele, seemingly responding to those chirps. And he has been great. That's one of the best goals I've seen from a number of years of watching hockey. Shout out to Nas, but shout out to this Calgary Flames team. I'm going to turn it right over to you before I bring up their record in their last 10. Five straight wins, 7-3-0, and oh, and inching closer and closer up to that Calgary for a uh, LA King spot for a wild card. So look out for the Flames right now. And again, Noah Hannafin on his way out, Markstrom on his way out, and they're still winning. Something good's going on right now in Calgary. I'm not sure what it is, though. <laughs> yeah, something is going on in Calgary, and it, it is turning them around right now, and it's making a lot of question marks go up in the air about what the actual plan is going to be come trade deadline day. But Nazem Kadri, 100%, that's goal of the year candidate, right up there mm. with Quinton Byfield from just a week ago. Those two are uh, the, I think, my favorite, I too. I think my favorite part about it was it uh, about this goal was it, it was against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Kyle Dubas in the mm. house, and the guy, you know, it's a little how do you do to Kyle Dubas for trading me uh so you know earlier uh back in the career so was it Dubas who traded him I don't I even think know. it was I, you know, I don't I'm remember sure. but either sure. way I'm here he was for in the process at least I know he was there okay. in okay. the process but yeah Nazem Kadri goal of the year candidate like you said seven yep. three and oh for Calgary in their last yep. 10 they're five points back now of the LA Kings and like I was alluding to I mean it's kind of crazy what's going on with this team they've already traded Elias Lindholm Nikita Zadorov now Chris Tanev just yeah. a few days ago. And that makes the question mark for the future of Jacob Markstrom and Noah Hannafin a lot more serious. And again, more question marks than there were just a day ago because of how good they're playing and how close they are mm -hmm. to a wild card spot. Uh, and again, like we, like you said, and uh, like you said, and like I said about the Tampa Bay lightning being in on Noah Hannafin, that, that could be a huge price that the Tampa Bay lightning might have to pay to, to land him. Uh, but that's something Calgary has to has to look into, and they've looked into for almost the entire year now. These are just the situations that this this next week as a fantasy GM, I always talk about portions of the schedule. It's it's something you have to pay attention to, and it's not something that's always covered, right? You yeah. can read articles about who's hot. You can read injury updates. You can listen to podcasts. You can't always get breakdowns on the schedule. That's something you just kind of have to know and watch yourself and know that, over these next five days with trades going down, there are going to be some big opportunities for your team to improve and for your team to slip. If you don't do the right things, because not always a trade happens and it's a good situation, right? What if one of these players were looking at even peripheral ones and they get moved and they might eat less minutes or they might not get as much power play time. These are all things that you're going to have to have your finger on the pulse over the next couple of days. So I just had that down in my notes. Shout out to the fantasy GMs out there still in the running. Steele and I are, uh, you know, maybe circling the drain a little bit in some of our <laughs> leagues, but we're doing better in others. However, that Rangers Leafs game, if you're okay, we'll go there next just very quickly because you and I have actually talked a lot about both teams of late. Mm -hmm. But for good reason. They are two of the hottest teams in the NHL. They are both rumored in a number of different trade options. And they are playing amazing, enticing, exciting hockey. I know there's a lot of different uh, descriptors there, but it's a fact. Saturday night, Rangers, Leafs, hockey night in Canada. The tilt was the tilt. Rempe Reeves, it was a good one. I say is an even draw. It might even give the edge to the youngster. Just a slight bit. I don't know. That was a great game, and it had a little bit of everything. The takeaways here are, still the New York Rangers, and it's as a tease to one of my waiver wire targets, are starting to get some really good production from their secondary pieces, and that's making the lives of Vincent Trocek, Mika Zibanejad, and uh, uh, Artemi Panarin yeah. a lot easier, and those were guys already having good seasons. So this is a dangerous combination with a blue line and now Shesterkin going. That's number one. Number two. That is a big, big victory for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And before, you know, they're beating the Ducks. Okay, you know, you're beating the Arizona Coyotes. But you're beating teams like the New York Rangers in the fashion that you did. And now you're really starting to put yourself into good playoff position where maybe that wasn't so clear a month ago. This team is starting to earn some of my respect back. And I think what this is going to do, Steele, is perhaps put – Brad Trilliving into a spot where he might be a little bit more willing to be active. He's even mentioning getting rid of that first rounder. I hope they don't do that for something <laughs> whack, but 
these are all the takeaways that I'm looking at. And again, it's going to impact what happens over this next week. Yeah, it is. And honestly, I, I, I've i loved every bit of the Toronto Maple Leafs over the last two to three weeks. They've Giddy been up. absolutely killing it. 9-1-0 and oh in their last 10. They're six points back of the Boston Bruins with two games in hand. They're only eight points back of the Florida Panthers with one game in hand on them. So they're very mm. close, even though the Florida Panthers have been rolling. And Boston's been slipping yeah. lately. They're 3-5-2 thr- yes. and two in their last 10. Yeah. They've been slowly sliding down the standings since mm-hmm. the, you know, the, the great start at the beginning of the season. And, and just the overall overall play from all four lines on the offensive side for the Toronto Maple Leafs, like the fourth line with Reeves, uh, Yarn Croak, and you know, camp, like they're all rolling right now. They're all playing. This is the best I've seen Ryan Reeves all season over the last five game stretch. So I love him getting into game action. I Mm. love the fight with Rempe. I think the, the best part about that was, I swear, uh, Rempe looked back at the bench at Peter Laviolette and was like, can I go? Can I fight him? He made sure if he could go, he dropped the gloves and it was a great tilt. The entire crowd in Scotiabank arena was wanting them. They waited all game long. It happened in the last five minutes. So absolute great game between the uh, Rangers and Maple Leafs four, three shootout win. But yeah, uh, for me, you know, th- these are two of the top teams in the Eastern Conference. I still have the New York Rangers as my favorite going into the postseason. but me this too. is some great uh, regular season hockey, what we're seeing for playoff atmosphere. Excellent point about the Leafs rolling the lines right now. They also lead the Eastern Conference in goals by about 19 on the Boston Bruins. So this is a team that can obviously score in bunches, and they have to. That's how they are built to win. That's been a nice little boost that the defense is getting it done. However, we've got a lot to talk about still. Yes, we we haven't even touched on waiver wire. <laughs> we got bets. Uh, six game board Monday night, including a couple of really, really juicy matchups. Why don't you take us to break and we'll have to spit out this waiver wire segment faster than we ever have. <laughs> we'll try to get it done quickly so we can get to big time bets. But first, Boom. this episode is brought to you by the game time app. You shouldn't have to worry when buying your tickets to your next big event. That's why Flip and I always use the game time app. Game time is the fastest and easiest way to buy tickets for all the sports music, comedy, and theater events near you with killer last-minute deals, all-in prices, views from your seat, and their best prices guaranteed. Last-minute tickets, flash deals, zone deals, any kind of deal you can imagine. The lowest price guarantee, event cancellation protection, and job loss protection. Game Time is the only ticketing app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase. They are obsessed with finding ways to help you save money on tickets. Game time has deals on tickets right up to the start of the event, and even an hour after it starts, it's the place to find last minute seats. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Locked On NHL for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Again, create an account, use code Locked On NHL for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Have you ever seen an NHL player get off a team bus and think to yourself, "Gosh, I wish I could dress that nice." Well, with Indochino, you can. Indochino makes fully customized suits that don't require a trip to the tailor to get that perfect fit. Recently, I was shopping for a new dress shirt for my upcoming wedding, and when I decided to go with the Hyde Herringbone shirt, I was blown away at all the customization options I had. I could change the type of collar, cuffs, and even decide whether or not I wanted a chest pocket, all while being incredibly affordable, especially given the quality of the product I was getting. New colors, fabrics, and outerwear styles are added regularly too, so it's easy to create your next look. Level up your game with Indochino. Go to Indochino.com and use code NHL to get 10% off any purchase of $399 or more. That's 10% off at I-N-D-O-C-H-I-N-O dot com with code NHL. And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Continue to hit the subscribe, the follow button, leave a five-star review. We appreciate all that love and support you show us Monday through Friday. Seven o'clock in the morning is when you can find our episodes. Flip, I've got, mm. you know, I love the I love the fact that we've talked about these teams on today's episode because that's where I'm going with most of my waiver wire Me targets. Too. I've got six players. Three of them are honorable mentions, so I'll just rattle those off real quick. Give her. Three honorable mentions. Ryan O'Reilly, Uka Pekka Lukanen, and Noah Hannafin 
all players rostered between 60 to 65 percent on yahoo that's why they're audible mentions so they're still out there but just not as regularly mm-hmm. as some of these other guys we're going to talk about Hannafin five points in his last three games and playing some heavy minutes and he could be traded to a cup contender which like you said mm-hmm. could uh jump start his offense a little bit o'reilly mm-hmm. on a four game point streak and Uka Pekalukinen has been sensational since yes. the start of 2024, That's a good especially one. over his last eight games. Four yep. games this week for each of those players, and Boom. I'll throw it over to you. Love it, Steele, and I'm loving the honorable mentions. I'm also loving how many players you have. I have four. One of them, this is a quick breakdown because I've spoken about him at length, and it's Logan Stankoven. Yes, this is a absolutely. kid that we know he's performed at every level. How about this? The Stars get the Ducks, the Sharks, and the Kings this week. Those are three teams allowing a ton of goals, <laughs> and two of them are hot garbage. Why not a rookie who I'm loving that line? I called it from the jump. I like it when things work out with these predictions. <laughs> Jamie Ben with Wyatt Johnson and Logan is fire. And I think you're going to start to see they squeaked that one out on Saturday night in a shootout <laughs> steal. That one was tight, and it shouldn't have been. However, Dallas is a good team, 9% on ESPN, 11 on Yahoo, up to 50% already on fan tracks. Wow. He is not going to be out there much longer on fan tracks, I'm telling you. And his numbers will continue to creep up on all platforms. Take a look at him. We've spoken about him. If you don't mind, I got a second good young player that's been Let's cooking over his last number of games in Tyson Forster for the Philadelphia Flyers. He has six goals in his last five games, seven points. He's getting shots on net. I really like this kid's game. And how about the stat line from Saturday? Two points plus four, two penalty minutes, the game winner, seven shots on <laughs> net and two hits. The ice time is up, Steel. He's playing on the top line with Farabee and Lawton, quote-unquote top line. Really liking this kid's game, and just to round it out, he's out there, 6% ESPN, 14 on Yahoo, up to 43 on fan tracks, which tells you something. Blues, Panthers, Lightning, bit of a mixed bag there, but I'm liking this kid's game right now, and he is playing with confidence. Up to 18 goals as well, by the way, I think. On the yeah, he's been, he's been a great uh, great spark 16. for the Philadelphia Flyers this year. A lot of young guys on their team. I'm gonna, I've got to, I'll start with another young guy. I might butcher his name a little Boom. bit. We kind of go back and forth with how we pronounce it. Matthias Michelli of the Arizona Coyotes. Michelli, <laughs> Michelli, we we're Michelli, unsure. Michelli, we're unsure. Yeah. You know, we should probably watch some highlights from the Arizona. I'm gonna figure it out you right now. The Leafs, the Leafs just to the play them, so I should probably know that. But once in Arizona all, Coyotes, young star Matthias Michelli, twelve percent on Yahoo. Forty Michelli, you're right. The- there we go. I, I thought it was, even though there's no age. But 12% on Yahoo, 46% on ESPN, 43 points in 60 games for the 23-year-old. He's yeah. rocking a five-game point streak. I know the Arizona Coyotes have been very bad. They just did win the other day. Uh, but he's rocking a five-game point streak. He's got nine mm-hmm. points in his last seven games. And they've got a very advantageous schedule this week. Four games upcoming. Chicago Blackhawks twice, Detroit Red Wings, and the Ooh. Minnesota Wild. So I like that a lot. If you don't mind, I'll get over to a Nash, another Please. Nashville Predators player. Gustav Please. Nyquist. I've talked about him a lot this year. 37% on Yahoo, 30% on ESPN. Yes, He's having his best season at the age of 34, 51 points in 62 games. He's on a career – he's on pace for a career high of 68 points. He's been a great addition to that lineup, eight points in his last five games. They also have a very advantageous schedule this this upcoming week. Montreal Canadiens, Buffalo Sabres, Columbus Blue Jackets, and the Minnesota Wild. They're on Whoa. an eight-game win streak, like you said. Whoa. This is a great week to keep yeah. their eight-game win streak alive, continue to distance themselves from teams chasing them in that Western Conference, and they could potentially get up to a 12-game win streak. Steel, this is the week for the National Predators to be going out there and adding. Cody Glass had a hattie over the weekend. These are the kinds of things that happen to pieces that, hey, you're going to have to take some risks over the next yeah. couple of weeks here. If you're on a on the cusp of making the fantasy postseason, you might as well go for it, and why not follow these trends? The Preds have a good week. They've won eight straight. Their peripheral pieces are performing. Those three things right there combined sounds like the week to go out there and get Predators very quickly. Alexi Lafreniere needs some love. Yes, the kid's game is starting to really round into form. Shout out to the Spit and Chicklets pod, who was definitely all over this, I think, last week. So I'm not trying to come out and say this is like a hot or bold take, but I just got to watch a full game from him on Saturday night, and I'm agreeing with it. 20% on ESPN, 42 on Yahoo, up to 67 on fan tracks, and it's just the rounding out of his game. Minutes up a little bit. He's average in his career, 15. He's up to almost 17 and a half. 
24 penalty minutes, 164 shots on net. You know how much we like to talk about that statistic. 39 point steal. You got to just really give this kid some respect as well because the, you know, the pressures that come with being a number one playing in New York and not panning out right away. Look, 21 points his first year, 31, 39 last year, already at 39. I'm not ready to say he's lived up to the expectations. No, but he is definitely back on track and he's only just turned 22. Lafreniere deserves to be on there and I'll just finish it with Shane Pinto, who has looked really, really good since he has come back. Probably one of the lone bright spots on the Ottawa Senators (laughs) over the last, I don't know, number of decades. Anyway, Shane Pinto, 29% on ESPN, up 11% in the last week. 26 on Yahoo. He's out there. They have the same lineup as the Stars over their next three games, Ducks, Kings, and Sharks. So why not go at Shane Pinto in this situation? Those are my final two for the week, Steel. 100%. I love that because I also have Shane Pinto as my last waiver wire target. 25% on Yahoo, 28% rostered on ESPN. And like you said, he's been by far the best player for the Ottawa Senators over the last <laughs> month and a half since he's returned. He has, he didn't play a game until uh, his 41 game suspension was up, which he yeah. was eligible to start playing January 21st. So didn't play his first game until 20 uh, January 21st. He has 16 points in his, in those 18 games since returning to action has six points in his last four games. Then you allude to it. A very nice schedule on the road for Ottawa. Ducks, Kings, and Sharks this upcoming week. You got to look at Shane Pinto this upcoming week along with the other waiver wire targets. Let's get over to big time bets where the money is made. Six games on the schedule. Flip, I would love for you to kick us off here with your three picks. Why don't I start with my boldest one? Ooh, and okay. Like, getting a little look, spicy here. I'm getting spicy, but I'm also watching a lot of hockey. The Boston Bruins aren't playing well. The Toronto Maple Leafs are playing their best hockey of the season. I don't know who's going to be in the cage for the Toronto Maple Leafs on Monday night. The way it's lining up is it's maybe they throw Samsonov back in there because of how good he's looked. I think he's earned it right now. And you ease Wall back in, perhaps. I think that's the angle, but I'm looking at it like this. It's a very big opportunity for whatever goaltender is in there for the Toronto Maple Leafs to really make his case to be the guy down the stretch. And that's just good for whoever is in there. And the Boston Bruins have taken it to the Leafs 3-0 and in their last three games. So I know the head-to-head doesn't exactly line up, and I'm going to spit this out, I promise. Leafs on the, ma- on the money line is where I'm headed, and I'm feeling confident because there is no better way to see what you're made of. After the way that they've played, you know, because there's been a lot of people out there saying, oh, uh, they're beating the Blues, they're beating the Ducks. Okay, the Bruins are arguably the best team in the conference. They've had your number perennially, and they've taken it to you. This is a big show-me-prove-it spot for the Leafs, one in which I think they show up steel. So that's my first pick, Leafs on the money line. I don't know about your thoughts on that one. I like the pick. I had to stay away from it just because of the it's past bold. trend. It is bold, but look, the way they're playing right now, like we talked about, 9-1-0 and in their last 10. The Boston Bruins have been sliding. The goaltending's been a little yep. bit shaky from Swayman and, and Allmark as well. So I, I don't hate it, but I'm not going with it on Monday night. Respect, I, I, will respect. Go, I will start with my first pick from this game, though, and I actually want your take on this one. Oh. Either David Pasternak anytime goal or David Pasternak over one and a half points in this matchup in 26 games against the Maple Leafs. Mm. He has 18 goals and 14 assists. I really like the anytime goal or the over one and a half. So I want to wait and see what the odds Mm. are. But what would you lean towards in this uh, in this case? I'm going to go anytime goal only because I could see that happening for sure. Could I see him getting multiple points? Of course, I'm not an idiot. Not most of the time. anyway. (laughs) Anyhow. But I am predicting a low-scoring game in this one. I'm not wagering on it. So it might only be like a 3-2-4-2 type finish, you know, with an empty netter. Of course, you could easily be a part of a couple of goals. I would lean to just the anytime goal because that's just also his thing. And that's what I see happening in this one. But I appreciate you asking for my advice, good sir. All right. Okay. I like that really going into Monday. First pick for myself, David there Pasternak. You go. Anytime goal against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Again, just stayed away from the money line in this case because it is mm-hmm. a great a great matchup between these two clubs. But the Boston Bruins, uh, the past trend has been in their favor. But I still like your pick going into Monday. Second yep. pick for myself. I'll you know I'll rattle off the second and third. Yes, sir. Second pick. I'm taking the Flames on the money line against the Seattle Kraken. They've won eight out of the last ten against the Seattle Kraken. 
Um, and they're, they're at home on a five game win streak as well. So I'm liking this pick of the Calgary flames and third and final pick taking the Colorado avalanche on the puck line against the Chicago Blackhawks. They've won eight out of yes, the last deal. 10 against this team. Let's they just go. beat them five, nothing or five, one, uh, you know, just a couple five of nothing. days ago, five, nothing. Uh, and seven of those w- seven out of those eight wins have been by two or more goals. So those are the three picks. Flames, money line, Avalanche, puck line, and David Patrick, anytime goal. Music to my <laughs> ears, my friend. Lock of the night, the Calgary Flames. That was a big victory there we go. from behind against the Pittsburgh Penguins the other night. You know how I feel about Sidney Crosby. By the way, anytime assist, cash out of the night. Thank you very much. Also, my second pick before even getting to the lock of the night, even though I just said it, Flames, money line, feeling that one in a very big way. You mentioned the numbers. The Colorado Avalanche against the Chicago Blackhawks right now is not even fair. However, the Colorado Avalanche just got pumped by the Nashville Predators. So, obviously, anything can happen. This is sports. It's gambling. It's hockey. However, that's a motivating factor, getting dusted by the Nashville Predators. So, I feel even worse for this Blackhawks team <laughs> on the road in Colorado, 8-2-0 and for the Avs. And I know almost every single one of those wins over the last 10 have been by at least two goals. And I'm saying three or four or five. So, that's my second pick. Avalanche on the puck line. I'm not copping out. Avs puck line along with my lock of the night Calgary Flames on the money line those are my two favorite bets hey we've got almost the same picks going into Monday night that makes me a little hell of a lot more confident hey going into these six matchups and these big time bets thank you so much for making the locked on fantasy hockey podcast your first listen every single day once again make sure you go check out locked on sports today the first ever national sports 24 7 streaming channel on YouTube you can also find them on Amazon Fire TV They are here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with local experts, plus the national shows covering every single league. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in for today's episode with Flip and I. Have a great day. Good luck with all your bets out there, and we shall see you back tomorrow. Sometimes your cat can be a mystery, like when they get so attached to certain cardboard boxes. <laughs> but when you use Fresh Step Cat Litter, there's no question that you're making your cat happy thanks to amazing odor control. Fresh Step Clumping Cat Litters prevent stinky crumbles and make scooping easy by locking in liquid and odor immediately. That means you can keep your house clean and your bond strong. There's no mystery here. Find Fresh Step Cat Litter at a store near you. Fresh Step is a registered trademark of the Clorox Pet Products Company. Certain trademarks used under license from the Procter & Gamble Company or its affiliate. Pulling up to Mickey D's just for drinks? Oh yeah, that's me. Nothing extra, just perfection and a straw. Coming in hot for the coldest cups on the block. Because there are drinks. Then there are drinks from McDonald's. Mix things up with any size lemonade or sweet tea for $1.49. Perfect with our classic fries. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Luxury is meant to be livable. Discover the new leather collection at Ashley with premium quality leather sofas, recliners, and more, all built to last. No matter how many spills, scuffs, or pet-related mishaps come its way, the leather collection at Ashley is made with the durability you need for the whole family. Shop the new leather collection at Ashley and find chairs starting at $499.99 and sofas at $599.99. Ashley, for the love of home.